If you're a middle school math teacher and have block schedule where your classes are 80 to 95 minutes, consider yourself super lucky. But if you are struggling with how the heck do I structure this super long block of time and you're confused on what to do, stay tuned because I am sharing with you exactly how to structure your 90 minute math class. If you are new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help sixth, seventh, eighth grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom while saving time and money with their lesson planning and resources. So this is just for teachers who have a longer block and I'm just going to, for simplicity's sake, just going to assume your classes are going to be 90 minutes. Okay. I know that it can range between, you know, anywhere between 80, 95, 100, but just for simplicity's sake, we're going to stick with 90 minutes. Now, I first off, I want you to decide what items you want to incorporate in your daily routine. Okay, so you have to decide what you want to cover either each day or just like within the week. I know for me, as somebody who does have a block schedule, I kind of decided how I want to structure my week because every day looks a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to share a little bit about that in a minute, but no matter what day it is, I have decided that I, it's important to me to have a bell ringer slash or like a warm up every day. So is that something that you want to do? Okay. You have to ask yourself, do you want to have like a direct instruction model where you are teaching and students takes notes? Will you be running stations a few times a week? or maybe even every day, do you want a daily exit ticket? There's totally no right or wrong answer. The choice is ultimately yours, but depending on what you choose, it's gonna depend on how you know your, your class is broken down, okay? Now, if you have not run stations, or some people call it math workshop, and you have 90 minutes, I truly encourage you to incorporate this into your week. If you're like, hmm, tell me more. I would love to know more about that. I have created a free training on how to easily and realistically implement math stations. Um, I will leave the link below in the description box or in the description. Um, because tr if you have 90 minutes or like a longer block, like 80, anywhere between 80 to 100 minutes, Oh, math stations is heavenly. You truly get to like reach all of your learners. And it's taken me years of trial and error to perfect math stations, which is why I created this training for you because it was like hot garbage when I first tried it. And I really did not believe in the power of stations until like, I, I, like I said, lots of trial, lots and lots of errors. And I have feel like I have put in, I figured out a way to really make it work. And so I want to save you a ton of time and a ton of heartache because you don't need to experience all that because I've already done it for you. Okay. Um, so if you are interested in checking out that brand new free math stations training, click the link below in the description box and you can sign up for a day and a time that works for you. Now, along with incorporating stations, I want you to think about like if you want to incorporate projects in your class too, because for the most part, like if you have a longer project, you can use these longer blocks to really dive deep into these projects. This and with block schedule, it might take you, you know, two to three days where if you have like a shorter 45 minute class, it might take you the whole week, you know, so you end up saving a little bit more time and you just have more time to dive into the project and you, and you won't feel rushed. Okay, so I wanna kind of show you a visual of how I incorporate um, my 90 minute class structure. So here is a, a sample of my schedule essentially. So minute one through 10, I have my students complete a bell ringer and it takes anywhere between five and five, I would say seven to 10 minutes. Then we will do minute 10 to 25, where we will review last night's homework. I will take questions. I'll go over any of the homework. 
And then minute 25 to 50, I will teach today's lesson, okay? So I spend about 20 to 25 minutes, as you can see, direct instruction, teaching, and then 50 to 80 minute, we will do independent work or we will do stations. Now I do stations, just so you know, generally two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and then the other days we'll do independent work. I might pull a small group, like it just kind of depends on what we're doing. I, I do let kids start their homework. I don't give a lot of homework, but it gives them an opportunity to start the homework. And then it gives me an opportunity to walk around, answer questions, making sure kids are on the right track, give any of my kids who need some extra attention to give them extra attention, um, but also to touch base with as many kids as I can. And then the last 10 minutes, if you do an exit ticket, this is the best time. I don't personally do an exit ticket, but it is like clean up, dismissal, get all your things together, so on and so forth. And there you have it. That is how I structure my 90 minute class period. I encourage you to check out my free stations training. Until next time, bye for now.